Hello Libra, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be from the 12th to the 18th of April 2021. So let's get straight into your reading. Pull your overarching energy for the week. So what do we have for Librans, please? Angels, Spirits, Guides. I've also release, released the May monthly reading, so do have a look at those as well. Um, oh, nice. Number 26, love without condition. Isn't that lo lovely? Um, maybe you're showing somebody that or somebody's showing you that this week. Unconditional love. Isn't that lovely? Okay. Message for Libra, please. Angels. What's the message for Libra for the week? Thank you. Message for Libra for the week. Thank you. So I've got freedom. Okay, let's pull some cards and see what we get, Libra. What is the message for Libra, please, for the week? 12th to the 18th of April, 2021. What do we have for Libra? So I'm going to pull three cards and then we clarify, go deeper into the message you know by now. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. Okay, message for Libra, thank you. So we have three cards there, three of wands, knight of pentacles and the sun. Absolutely lovely. Page of swords. There's the freedom card. We have the fool, which is new beginnings. Okay. Let's clarify, go deep into the message as we always do. What do we have for Libra, please? Message for Libra. Can we clarify 12th to the 18th of April 2021 for Libra? Thank you. Okay, so we have the Seven of Swords. We have the Three of Cups, absolutely lovely Libra. And the Fool is, we've got the Sun and Moon in your reading. We have the Moon, uh, can be a card of hidden blessings, that so lovely energy. Um, Ace of Cups. Okay. So some of you may have been acting strategically here. Um, you know, the, the Seven of Swords, I mean, it is essentially somebody who acts strategically. Now, yes, it can be in a negative sense. It can be the card of the thief, betrayal, um, you know, covert operations, that kind of thing. But this can also be an energy of if you are going for a new job or um, wanting a new position at a new company or there's a reason for you to keep your cards close to your chest that can be this energy too so I kind of feel that some of you have just been quietly working at something manifesting something and you can see the signs of it happening because the three of wands is the card of first signs of success coming your way your ships are coming in it feels like it's been a challenge for some of you I mean you know it might well be whether it's happened as quickly as you wanted it to, because, you know, the Knight of Pentacles can be sometimes a stagnating energy in the sense that it takes a long time to arrive. But there's definitely an energy of it's coming, you know, the good news, the celebration, the joy is coming. You know, with that Three of Wands, you know, it's coming. You, It's not in the harbour yet. Those ships are on the distance but they're coming in the right direction. They're coming towards this person, it feels, in the form of some kind of offer or an opportunity. Now, this feels really beautiful. It's very, very good in terms of money, career, business, the Knight of Pentacles. Um, yeah, but, you know, there is happiness, joy, and this is worldly, this is a material success. Uh, growth is an abundant energy as well so abundant energy with that sun card 
Uh, it's a feel good energy, happiness, joy, things feeling good. So it feels like things are heading in the right direction. What you've been taking steps towards, however you've been doing it, it feels like your ships are coming in. The challenge is they're not quite there yet. There might well be more to do here, but it feels in this situation, there, there's really good signs. You know, the sunflowers all represent abundance and happiness and joy. Lovely energy, Libra. The advice from spirit energy is there will be some message of truth that brings celebration. There's reasons to celebrate here. So it doesn't feel like it's far off. In fact, it could be this week for some of you. Um, because, you know, I've got the Ace of Cups at the end. You know, and it definitely feels, I mean, this is celebration with friends, family, your community, uh, however it resonates for you, your tribe. Um, but it's reaping, it's a reaping the reward energy. So again, this feeling of, of bountifulness. You might be leaving one job for another. You might be freeing yourself from an industry and moving towards a different industry. There may well be some career change here as well. Some of you might be looking at opportunities overseas as well for some of you. But nevertheless, there is news coming your way, Spirit is saying, that is going to bring celebration and joy. It feels a lovely energy. Love that, Libra. And you are ready to dive straight in. It's just, you know, it's interesting because the moon, when we talk about it's coming... And there's some news that's going to bring celebration. It feels in this situation, some of you still, are, this can be the new beginning. And then we have the lack of clarity. So there is definitely an energy of surrender, trust in the divine, uh, because this is a card of hidden blessings. And you're being told, even though you don't see what's going to happen, you know, this is things going on behind the scenes, divine orchestration things will become clear it's just it might not be clear straight away to some of you but the clarity is coming with that page of swords so like i said for some of you you'll be at different life stages but it feels like where you've had lack of clarity like i said that knight of coins can move at a very slow pace so your ships are coming in there's not quite there yet and that can be the bit of a challenge and that might be what this card is picking up on as well you don't have the full clarity in how something's going to pan out here with this new beginning that you're going towards with something that you want to take the leap of faith take the chance towards and uh, maybe you're liberating from it could be an old job or you know whatever this is for you but you know the ace of cups is the message is there's hidden blessings, trust, because you are being given, you're being shown unconditional love by the universe, first and foremost. Isn't that lovely? Uh, because this is the hand of God, the universe, giving you this chalice, and you are the ch giving you, filling you up, you know, so you are the chalice receiving the water that is overflowing of love and light. So there's definitely an energy of you're being shown it from the universe, you're being shown it from God, the divine, the universe, and you're being given this new beginning, this happy new beginning. Um, it feels... You know, it's divinely guided, it's destined. So there's definitely an energy of don't let doubt, fear creep in here. You're not meant to see the big picture right now, but it will be revealed. This is full clarity. You'll see everything clearly. And the news will come and there will be reasons to celebrate here, Libra. So I love the energy here. Now, yes, the Ace of Cups can be to do with creative opportunities or opportunities close to your heart that bring joy, new beginnings. Um, can be a card of emotional rebirth. Um, yes, this can be to do with love, um, new pets, you know, whatever the, you know, whatever this is. But it feels in this respect that the new beginning that you didn't have clarity on is going to happen here. The happiness is going to happen. And it just feels like such a happy emotional energy coming your way. The celebratory energy is coming your way. Um, really beautiful you might be liberating yourself from something again the sun is a liberating energy it's a release energy so it, it might well be in this situation you are liberating from something which is why you had to act strategically 
Okay, final message for Libra. Final message for Libra, but nevertheless, a lovely reading, Libra. Okay, so I have a couple of cards here. So we have Polar Bear, Nurture. Allow any anxieties and worries to be gently released and offered up to be healed. We have Sloth Digital Detox, Recalibrate, Reset and Recharge. Lovely. And yeah, I love that. We have Honeybee, Divine Feminine. You are being called on to rise. So you will rise. You know, there's definitely an energy. It's interesting, you know, that rise. It might be a next level up for you. I mean, that could be a practical thing, you know, a, a promotion or a title change or responsibility whatever that is for you I was just getting that um but I I just love the energies of yeah it's absolutely there will be reasons to celebrate so lovely lovely energy Libra I hope you enjoyed the reading if you did please do like share and subscribe I hope it's a wonderful week for you and I will see you next time thank you